From time immemorial, men have ventured into the depths of the waters to discover what it offers. Like elsewhere in the world, Kenya's relationship with the ocean and other inland waterways and how people use and exploit these resources is evolving daily and hence the need to regulate, coordinate and oversee maritime affairs by the Kenya Maritime Authority. The Kenya Maritime Authority, KMA, was established by a presidential order in 2004 and legally constituted in 2006 under the Kenya Maritime Act and ensures sustainable, safe, secure, clean and efficient water transport for the benefit of stakeholders guided with a vision of being a leading maritime administration, transforming Kenya into a globally competitive nation. And that is what they are achieving. Kenya Maritime Mobility uh, was formed to administer and coordinate and regulate all matters that relates to maritime sector in the country and also to help the country execute the conventions that are related to maritime sector which the country ratified and continue to ratify and uh, IMO. Some of the key mandates of the organization one is to advise the government on policy matters in terms of governance of the maritime sector. Uh, then the other aspect that KMA does, which is very critical, which you must have seen in the field, the SAR operations, uh, the search and rescue, which means uh, safety and the security of the Kenyan waters. The, the other critical aspect that Kenya Maritime Mobility does, what we call in short met, the maritime education and training, Kenya Maritime Authority accredits the institutions that undertake training on maritime matters. The reason for this is because under international conventions, the administrators of maritime sector are recognized internationally to be able to maintain standards as per the international convention. The other aspect that we also do is what is critical to our economy is we coordinate all aspects to do with pollution in our waters. In executing that Marble Convention, do a lot of coordination of public and United States others. In ensuring our environment is uh, environmentally sound. Then the other issue that we KMA does that is critical is what we call port state control and flag state control. Port state control it means all ships docking into our port. We inspect those ships so that we ensure they are conforming to international conventions. Maritime education, training and certification of seafarers happens at Maritime Academy and other institutions accredited by KMA to offer maritime courses in their country. The courses offered prepare competent applicants to be ready to discover and drive the blue economy on land and at the sea and increase the marketability and employability of Kenyan seafarers globally by ensuring conformity with standards laid down in international maritime conventions. My dream career is to become a class one captain. The course is divided in theory and practical. The training helps us to be great in practical and also in theory. On the bridge side, the practicals help us to follow the captain's orders and that's very vital for everyone. In the simulation room, we have the navigation equipment such as the steering, we also have the ECDIS, which is a modern chart that helps us navigate. We also have the radars, which we have radar 1 and radar 2, which help us in plotting our ranges. We have units such as seamanship, ship construction, terrestrial and coastal navigation, meteorology. All these work hand in hand. With me studying these units, I'm able to get a clear picture of whatever I'm going to get out there. Example, the chart works that we do, I'll be able to plot my path as a captain in future and steer my vessel to a safe place. The Academy works in very close collaboration with the Kenya Maritime Authority. And this is because our programs and the training uh, courses are all regulated and approved by the Kenya Maritime Authority to ensure that they meet the international standards as required by the International Maritime Organization. 
The Kenya Maritime Authority has given me a lot of support, both technical and also in terms of resources. The Academy will now be able to train for courses, which sometimes required Kenyans to go out of the country and obtain these skills. The authority is also working closely with the Seafarers Union of Kenya, the International Transport Workers Federation and employers, social partners, to ensure seafarers achieve decent working and living conditions on board ships in accordance with the International Labour Organization Maritime Labour Convention of 2006. The fact that oceans and seas are important for sustainable development is undeniable. Oceans and inland lakes contribute to poverty eradication by creating sustainable livelihoods and decent work vis-à-vis -vis providing food and minerals, generating oxygen, absorbing greenhouse gases and mitigating the impacts of climate change, determining weather patterns and temperatures and serving as highways for seaborne international trade. KMA has had and will continue to coordinate the implementation of policies relating to maritime affairs while providing key advisories to the government on the implementation of international maritime conventions and treaties. The implementing authority for the International Convention on Maritime and Facilitation of International Maritime Traffic, what is called the FAL Convention. So under this FAL Convention, we are developing a framework together with the country through which when ships come and leave the port or the crew or the cargo, the clearing processes through the public agencies is no longer undertaken by using documents which have to be filled manually, but we have created a maritime single window platform under the FAL Convention through which the public agencies and shipping agents can be able to exchange information on what is to be declared when a ship comes in and when it leaves, so that this process doesn't cause any delay for ships. So in so doing, we end up enhancing the efficiency. In regards to conventions, the authority undertakes port state control inspections on foreign vessels calling at Kenyan ports and flag state inspections on Kenyan vessels to ensure compliance apart from setting regulations and guidelines on safety and security at sea or inland lakes. Those not adhering are either stopped from sailing and are not licensed. Well-functioning and frequently serviced vessels reduce accidents and protects lives and property of Kenyans who rely and use water transport. There are about 11 MOUs, they are called Memorandum of Understanding for Port State Control. Now we have one in Kenya and this is run by Kenya Maritime Authority. We do the inspection to check to make sure that the, the ship is complying with the safety requirements as required by the International Maritime Organization. The purpose of post-state control inspection is to identify and eliminate substandard ships, ships which are not seaworthy. We inspect, are they polluting our, our waters? We inspect what is the condition of the seafarers in those ships and ensure the international conventions for docking ships are arranged and followed. And the law allows Kenya Maritime Authority, in case of any violation of any convention standards required, make sure that that ship does not leave the port until any irregularity is fixed once it is observed through those inspections. On maritime safety and security, KMA implements and undertakes coordination in maritime security by enforcing safety in small or large vessel construction through the enforcement of best practices and regulatory compliance. The authority also carries out a vessel sensors and unique identification number marking exercise that aims to establish an electronic database of all small vessels in Kenya, which will incorporate details of vessels and particulars of owners to increase traceability of vessels, as well as improving maritime safety by aiding in identification of unseaworthy vessels, thus enabling the authority to issue them with improvement notices or restrict them from operations. At the port, they conduct regular inspections of ships, maintain and ensure close administration of ships register. The authority also carries out enhanced safety compliance campaigns, ESCC, where enforcement is done to ensure vessels operate with valid licenses and have the required life-saving appliances on board. KMA is also ensuring the prevention of marine pollution and protection of the marine environment 
by deterring eventualities like oil spills, which degrade the marine environment and can rob fisher folk of their livelihood, reduce food security due to low fish supplies, health risks from pollution and erosion of revenue from tourism. To mitigate this, KMA has developed an oil chemical spill contingency plan for inland waters, while carrying out biannual review of the oil chemical spill response contingency plan on coastal waters. The Kenya Maritime Authority operates the 24-hour Mombasa-based Regional Maritime Rescue Coordination Center, RMRCC. The center coordinates maritime search and rescue emergencies in the Eastern Africa search and rescue regions. It provides a communication center where seafarers, sailors, fisherfolk, ships and vessel operators and the public can call in for help in cases of distress while at sea. The center shares piracy information with relevant authorities and also monitors oil spill incidences. In that center that is regional is not only the government of Kenya and also we, through that center we get data. And through the same center, we link with the meteorological department to be able to guide environmental warning or changes in climate that relates transport movement, whether of the small vessels or the big ships. To create an enabling environment for shipping and maritime trade, the Kenya Maritime Authority promotes investment in the maritime sector by instilling high professionalism amongst stakeholders collaborating in implementation of high standards in the delivery of commercial maritime services that reduces high transaction costs and delays in the flow of cargo and assist traders in the appropriate use of international commercial. We sustain efficiency in terms of uh, administering a performance uh, framework, monitoring framework under the Mombasa Port Community Charter, where we are the secretariat. This will now help us to build the accountability framework for the various uh, providers of maritime transport services. We do a lot of capacity building on various opportunities in the maritime sector in terms of business. We also link with other partners to ensure trend uh, in Kenya become cost-effective and it can only become cost-effective if ships that are bringing goods in Kenya are cleared way well in advance, there is no drain clearance. The authority is committed to carrying out its affairs in a socially responsible, sustainable way that benefits the society by addressing its needs and challenges. In this regard, therefore, the authority continues to invest in corporate social responsibility within the community in areas such as protection of the marine environment through the adoption and restoration of mangrove ecosystems, reduction of marine litter through recycling, support towards community initiatives, health, education, persons with disabilities, gender equity and charitable activities, among others. While the future of Kenya's maritime sector is optimistic, KMA's regulatory role in the maritime industry and Kenya's blue economy is pivotal in unlocking the sector's contribution to economic transformation, creation of new job opportunities and sustainable shipping. Now when we have the target, the plans targeting blue economy in terms of skills development, in terms of uh, infrastructure, like the, the, the port now has been added in Lamu, the port in Mombasa has been expanded, the linkage ports around the Lake Victoria, if we address that one, then it will be possible for the private investors now to bring in ships that can carry people. It takes a very short time, it carries more volume of cargo. If ships move from Kisumu to those interlinking ports that used to be the Lake Victoria but are no longer there because they've been neglected. They've also come up with what is called the Maritime Cluster Development Fund. It's a proposal that we already made to, the, to our ministry to be taken to the Treasury. We had a team of people from the Treasury, from the ministry, from ourselves sitting down and working in. How can we inject some money into the maritime, into the blue economy? At the moment, we have about 1,000 per annum that ships that dock in the port of Mombasa. We must continuously ensure the growth of number of ships docking in our port. What does that mean? It means there will be more trade between Kenya and the global international market, and it means jobs for our youth that now will be coming from institutions of learning. Our job creation then, as a country, we will start coming from the maritime domain, maritime sector, and the blue economy issues. We desire to see a KMA that is a global force, a center where other countries can come and see how maritime sector is being managed, how maritime and sector can achieve 
various objectives within a country. The countries must feel Kenya is a force in the sector. We are moving to the future to position the country to be a global force in the maritime sector so that Kenya does not become a choice but a must choice for the global transport system movement.